What happens if you combine the super smart kids from the Mysterious Benedict Society with a giant serial corporation that wants to take over the world? The answer is this week's pick. Strange things are happening in the town of Goodboro, New Jersey. Strange things involving a leprechaun and a man with a rabbit's head and all sorts of animals with unicorn horns. Stranger still, only Scott Doe, the new kid in town, can see them, and he thinks they're just hallucinations. But when Scott meets Erno and Emily Utz, twins who have seen a few strange things of their own, these three super smart preteens realize that there's something horrible and magical happening in Goodboro, and it all has to do with the good and harmless cereal company, otherwise known as Goodco. Author Adam Rex knows how to spin a good yarn, and the quirky kids and their strange circumstances immediately pulled me in. Less pleasing, however, was the way the book devolved into a lot of cartoon-style violence as the kids and their allies took on Goodco's evil henchmen. The book's target audience of 10-year-old boys might feel differently about the flying fists. All in all, not a lot of character development here, but if you're up for a wild imaginative tale with plenty of humor, then by all means get yourself a hearty helping of cold cereal. <laughs>